So here's the scenario. You have a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller like the ESP32. Maybe you've built a project around it, right? And maybe it's somewhere in your house and it's connected to the Wi-Fi and it's doing you know cool stuff, whatever that might be. And what you wanna do is upload new code. You wanna like update the firmware essentially on that board. But you don't wanna to have to like drag your computer over to it, plug it in and upload it. Well, what you can do is called an OTA or over the air update. And that is what you're gonna learn how to do today. It's really not too hard. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. All right, so before we jump in, I am going to assume that you already have your Arduino IDE set up to work with the ESP32. If you don't, no worries. Just check out our other video really quick on getting the Arduino IDE set up with the ESP32. But assuming you've done that, this is what we're going to do. So in order to set up an over-the-air transfer, we do need to have the ESP32 physically connected to our computer the first time we do it. And what we're going to do is upload a sketch that will then enable us to do over-the-air updates. Hopefully that makes sense. So the first time you do it, you got to have it connected to your computer, you upload the code, and then after that, you're able to do it over the network, over the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so the way we are going to be able to do this so easily is because we are going to use a library that somebody has already written for this, and it's called Arduino OTA, or Over the Air. Now, here's what's really cool. This library right here, it comes pre-packaged with the ESP32 core. So if you've already set up the Arduino IDE to work with the ESP32, you don't need to separately download this library. But this library is a good place if you have some questions about how to work it, you know, like how does it work? So you can definitely check out this page. We'll leave a link to this GitHub repository in the description if you wanna check it out. This video is sponsored by Next PCB. For $0, you can get a one to four layer PCB. That's right, $0 for a PCB prototype for the first order. They've got special offers going on all the time and $100 coupons for new users. It's easy to get an instant quote. You can upload a Gerber file and when you do that, it will fill in all this information for you and that also allows you to use the Gerber viewer. That's $0 for a PCB prototype. You can use the link below to register and get that $100 coupon. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I plug in my ESP32 using a USB cable, and now I'm gonna select that board. So I'm gonna go up to Tools, Board, and then you can see here's ESP32 Arduino, and I'm just gonna go down. I've already got it selected, but you get the idea. You just pick the one you want, right? So then I'm gonna go to Tools, and I gotta select the port, and I've got a list here of different ports, serial ports right here, right? And I'm gonna say, yep, that's what I want. Okay, so I've selected it. So now I'm gonna come up to File, Examples, and I am gonna come down to Examples for the ESP32 S2, and here is Arduino OTA. And what I'm gonna do is just select this basic OTA. All right, so here is this sketch. What the heck is going on here? All right, so we include some Wi-Fi wi libraries, Wi-Fi.h, ESP MDNS, Wi-Fi UDP, and then this Arduino OTA. Again, we said that this comes pre-installed, all right. Then we need to define our SSID. That's like the Wi-Fi network name, right? So maybe your network name is like my house or whatever that would be here, and then your password, you write that there. And then in the setup, it goes through, it does a serial connection, shows some stuff, hey, we're booting. And then it prints some information out to the serial monitor, kind of let you know, hey, this is you know whether or not you're actually connecting, right? And then if it connects, what it does is it prints out some information. I think it prints out like the IP address for you. I mean, a lot's going on here, but all this is handled by this library, which is pretty nice. So instead of just writing the SSID and password in here, what I'm gonna do is make a new tab. I'm gonna call it Arduino Secrets.h. And then in this file, I'm gonna specify my SSID and password as defines. All right, so here you can just, you know, you can put what your uh, stuff is and it's gonna be inside quotes, whatever the network name is and then whatever the password, you put it inside the quotes. So now what I can do is include that here. All 
All right, now SSID is just referring to that define statement that you set up in the Arduino secrets header file, and same here. Now, I will say, if you happen to have a 2G network, I have had far more success connecting my ESP32 to 2G networks than I have to our 5G networks. So just a note, if you're having trouble getting the connection going, try the uh, 2G version of your network. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload this code. All right, looks like that was successful. Now I'm gonna open up the serial monitor window. And all right, looks like it connected. It says IP address is ready. If this isn't working out, like you're having connection issues, like I said, see if you can try the 2G version of your network. And also double check that SSID and password. I'm telling you, it's so easy for me to screw that up. I don't know why. Sometimes like when I was doing this, I mixed up. I put my password where my SSID was and my SSID and my password. Like sometimes it's the dumb stuff that gets you tripped up. So anyway, okay, so now we're connected. Now that's pretty cool. So this sketch though, this isn't what I want running on my ESP32. I want to run some other sketch. Like that's the whole idea, right? And the code that you're going to upload is not this sketch. Like it's going to be something totally different. So let's just find something totally different. In this case, I'm just going to use a simple blink sketch. All right, so I just want to upload a blink sketch over the air to this ESP32. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that sketch. I happen to have it right here. All right, so here's my Wi-Fi caffeine sketch right here. It's just a simple blink sketch, right? Going to turn an LED on and off. So what I'm going to do is unplug my ESP32 from my computer. Now I've got a battery hooked up, so I'm, you know, now it's just running off of battery power. And now I'm going to go up to tools and I'm going to go to port. Now check this out, network ports. Now I can see this shows up as a network port. That is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So now I'm selected to this network port. So check it out, ports, see that? That is the port I have selected. It's still the same board, right? It's just the port has changed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. Now the upload looks a little different. It says it's sending an invitation. And now just like that, my board is doing the blank sketch. That is freaking easy. And that's pretty awesome. You gotta admit, I mean, you need to change something on the fly. No need to grab it and plug it into your, you know, back into your computer. It's just set up. So that's it. No real rocket science here. I hope you found that helpful. Again, we can do this thanks to all of the hard work that was done by John Drossi with this Arduino OTA and then all of the folks who have worked on the ESP32 core. Like, man, that's just amazing that uh, we all get to take advantage of all that stuff. It's, it's really cool. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks again to our sponsor, NextPCB. Check the description for a link to that deal to get $0 for a one to four layer PCB. If you're interested in learning how to do this Arduino programming stuff, definitely check out our training program at programmingelectronics.com. And I'd love it if you could like this video, leave a comment if you feel like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Thanks a lot, have a great one, bye.